Well, what we've got here is a big steel pipe that I got at a steam roller. Can't have paid any more than about five quid for it. Um, probably did the guy a favour by not having to unload it on and off his lorry all the time, going backwards and forwards to steam rallies. The important thing about this one is that the diameter of this tube is less than six inches. It's actually, I think from memory, it's maybe even less than five and a half. Which means it fits inside the core of my furnace quite nicely, because the furnace is just over six inches, I think. Uh, the only problem being is that I always had in the back of my mind that I would have to make a bottom for it. Um, and originally I was going to turn this six, disc, six inch disc down towards the outside diameter. The problem with that is that there's no chamfer on this edge and I've had to have done that on this piece which is no real difficulty I suppose on the lathe, it's two minutes job. Um, but there was already a chamfer on the inside of this which meant I would have had to mount this in the lathe which wouldn't have really done the Myford, it might have done on the huge lathe behind me but uh, that's not really running at the moment so what I've decided to do is use this inside chamfer um, as the area which the bead of solder is going to go into so it took a bit more time to get this down in diameter now I didn't want to drill a hole all the way through it and put a bolt through and then grab all of the bolt with the lathe chuck it's basically because this is going to be the bottom uh, of the crucible and it's quite a thick piece of steel so it's going to take a long time to heat up so it won't be very efficient but I'm not too worried about that got quite a bit of coke so I welded quite haphazardly this much smaller and more manageable bar on here and then took the diameter down and now I've got a bit of packing in there which actually goes up to about this height with one of these V blocks on end and then just a few bits of wood and arranged so that it'll be just nice in there it just goes down to the height I want it to now automatically this little area here created by that chamfer on the inside edge uh, is just right for getting a bead of weld in there and once that's in there I can take this thing off and I'm not too worried about this being too flat uh, it's quite a close fit this you can see it's taken quite an effort to get the thing out in fact I'm not sure we'll be able to do it um, I think it's coming up. Oh, it's tough. It must be just a perfect fit. I think I was doing that. Well, I think it's jammed now. It's not something I'm going to be able to get out with. Oop, with one hand. Anyways, the other side of this disc is flat as I could make it on the lathe. So that we don't get too much bonding with the aluminium and steel. They don't like each other really well. But hopefully, because this is quite thick steel, the scaling that you get... Um, won't be too much of a problem for a long time but we shall see next job is to put my mask on and get some welding done